Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Once more again, the Lord bless each and everyone for joining for in Jesus' name. Today again, I bring us God's fresh word and I'm the man available as usual. Uh, in today's prophetic title says, this woman is panicking now that you are. They are scared. Hallelujah. As I'm talking to you right now, they are scared. Hallelujah. This prophetic word, what I saw in the realms of the spirit, it came in two ways. I saw something that I would like to illustrate it physically. Then I would also like to illustrate it in the Bible. This is actually what is happening in the life of this woman. Just listen attentively from the beginning to the end. Please, before we move forward, if this is your first time, God bless you. You're very much welcome. This is Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. God has been helping me to be to always be available with his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you're subscribing to become my friend, my prayer partner together. Let's grow together. Here we encourage each other. We pray together. May the good Lord bless your family for in Jesus' name. How many of us has ever watched action film? There is this movie we always call action film. Praise Master Jesus. The best part of this movie is always the last fight. Any action film that is going on, there is a particular part that, that, that people call the last, the last part. And you will see that there is always a man that is like the actor. Then another man that is the shepherd. Like these are the two people that will make the movie sweet. And, they, and if the Shebang dies from the beginning, that means the movie will not longer be interested. Most of the time when they meet together from the beginning of the movie, maybe the, 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 the director will direct the movie that from the very beginning, the Shebang need to be the actor, do something bad to the actor, kill the mother, the father, maybe in, in, in the process, that they will meet again or oh, at the end of the movie what will give the actor courage to fight the Sheba to the last of his blood is what he did so that is how they direct the movie so that is actually what happened okay now just assuming like I saw one movie that the actor fought with the Sheba until the actor fell on the ground blood was all over the shepherd, the shepherd was was rejoicing with his with his men. The moment they saw him, he he rose up. He took something. He started behaving a type like they could not believe that he could do those things. They started panicking. That means the moment you see somebody doing what you were not expecting, you start panicking. That is actually what the Lord is trying to tell us. Look in the Bible, the story of of, of Jephthah. The Bible said Jephthah was a son of a prostitute. The father had other children with another woman, but the children drove Jephthah away. When they arose a problem, they had no choice than rather to bring back Jephthah. They were panicking when they went to bed Jephthah. They went and pleaded with Jephthah. That's what God is talking about. So I saw a woman. This is a woman. A lot of people look at you. They talk you down. They made a decree and they spoke this word to your face. They said nothing good will come out from you. They said you will never rise. They concluded about your life. But along the line, wind blows. Things happen. No condition is permanent. Things happen. Right now, you left that environment. Now, your return is making them to panic. So the people that gang up against you, that were talking evil against you, they are panicking because your return, your return is making them to panic. They are afraid because they have heard how God has been so good and faithful to you. They are afraid, but they are trembling. But the Lord said, fear not. They have no choice than to bow down before you as the brother of Joseph in Egypt and confess. The Lord said, get ready. All your enemies are panicking for what they did to you. Listen to me. The Bible says, there's a scripture that the, the Bible says, the Bible says, 
says a man enemies is 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 a member of his household yes i remember a man enemy is a member so i want you to know that no matter who the person might be is it your brother look in the life of joseph joseph was betrayed sold by his own brother is it your sister do not say she was my sister no is one jacob look between is one jacob look between cain and Abel. what do you want to see the Lord said, get ready. They are coming to apologize. They are panicking. They will confess and forgive them in the name of Jesus. Because the blessings of God has rest upon you. And if you do not forgive them, it will close a lot of doors. Joseph had no choice than to forgive his brother. But Joseph never returned back there. Forgive them and be careful. Take a measurement. Take a new decision. Be careful the, the way you talk and how you share your word with them by Jesus name so this is the prophetic word that God laid in me I believe it has been a blessing to someone may the good Lord bless you all for watching for in Jesus name please before you go do not forget to like drop a comment and share this word by so doing may my God bless you family for in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen